hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be taking you on this detailed tutorial on how to do this jerry curl using this hollywood curl solution kit yeah so the um kit comprises of the wave cream the curl wave cream yes and um we have the neutralizer also we have the neutralizer we have yeah we have the cold wave the cold wave lotion rather the cold wave lotion we have the activator we have the shampoo also that's the activator and we have the shampoo we also have a plastic bag that comes with the the kit and that's the shampoo so briefly we'll go into the process now okay, so this is the air and um, she had done the um jerry curl for about i think eight months or jerry about before she has done it before so she's coming in for a retouch and yeah we have to go in with the shampoo and this is this is me trying to wash at the shampoo um, at the station washing station um, with the shampoo and this is me washing her hair with the shampoo so sit back and watch Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So I'm just trying to clean the air here. And this is the curl cream that I'm gonna be using. So, and as you already know, I section into four parts. Yeah, after sectioning, then I will go in with my, um, my cream or the relaxer, whatever you call it. So as you can see, it, I am going in. And don't mind me, I already told you, I love working with my hands. Yeah, because it allows me to work the relaxer well into the air. And this is me massaging the, the cream or relaxer, anyone you call it, I'm massaging it into the damp air. After massaging into the damp air, uh, I comb out thoroughly. I make sure I comb everything out. I could not make the video of me combing out because I don't know what happened to my phone at that point in time. So this is me after combing very well. Now you go in with your rods. You go in with your your perm rods. If you have something else you want to use, like the previous video, I used the cover of a syringe yeah but this i'm going in with the perm rods and you know why the perm rods i don't know if we can get um, a replacement for, for the rubber tacks yes those rubber they tend to to break out after some time but you will see during this process i i use rubber bands along the way because the the rubber that I, the, the rubber that came with the with the perm rods they were already broken so i had to just look for a substitute and i used the rubber band so this is me rolling so just sit and watch ah uh, this part was one of the hardest parts i told you i really don't like this part because it's the hardest part in jericho i tend to it gets so so slippery very slippery and i cannot imagine myself on gloves then doing this same thing <laughs> it will be a lot of disaster so that's why i just prefer my ends using my bare ends only 
yeah and if you look closely at this point i was already using the rubber bands and man it wasn't easy it was so slippery you can see the black rubber bands see me trying trying my best it was not easy guys it was not easy at all but thank god it came out nice at the end of the video yeah after this 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 process yeah this is me this is the end where i finished rolling so i had to apply the cold wave lotion on it just apply the cold wave lotion all over the 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 tan and the air you can see me doing it here so it has to penetrate so you just apply in generous amounts just apply 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 and yeah after this um section i i had to cover and wait for about 30 minutes i did not include it in this video because my yeah this time my phone was really acting up it was really acting up okay. so you just see the process after waiting for 30 minutes with the plastic bag, so I had to proceed to the washing station. You can see me, I'm trying to get out all of the cream. That is the relaxer. I'm just trying to get it all out of the air. This is me trying to wash. I'm just rinsing it out of it. So this is still me. I noticed I still had some left, so I have to still go in and rinse out. Yeah, at this point it was already clean, so I had to go in with my neutralizer and I had to just put it all over, all over the air. So I had to just put it, I made sure that I got to every of the perm rods, every of it. After which I covered with the plastic bag, which is the shower cap. I covered with that and left, so yeah, I left have to wait for about... 20 minutes or zero about yeah 20 minutes and yeah yeah i proceeded again after 20 minutes i proceeded to the washing station to rinse out rinse out at this process you have to be generous with water you have to rinse out the air thoroughly yeah and that's all yeah after this process we are almost at the should i say almost we are at the last stage yeah this is me removing the rods and you can see the curls man it came out so 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 nice came out very curly it was nice and beautiful Uh, after removing all the rods, I had to go in with the activator that came alongside the kits. So I had to put the activator to activate the curves. So make the curves make the curves come alive. And this is me trying to come out. You can see. Yeah, congratulations if you made it to the end of this video. This cherry curl came out nice i loved using this hollywood kit it's a very nice one if you like this video thumbs up subscribe please subscribe to my channel like and share thank you for watching bye and your comments or questions please drop them in the comment box and for all every um every I use this in the description box. You can see my clients looking 
happy yes she was happy she was pleased with her hair it came out super super nice thank you for watching